Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful teal and gold resin serving board. The very first step is to protect the board and pieces from getting resin on places that she doesn't want there to be. She flips the board to the back side and tapes all around the edges. She's using an X-Acto knife to shape the tape around the handle and to cut off the excess around the edges. Then she turns the board around and places a sheet of baking paper on the side where it'll remain wood, just to be sure that she doesn't accidentally get any drops of resin there. She mixed her Part A and Part B resin for about 3 minutes and then poured a clear line of resin on the board outlining where she wants the resin to stop and this will act as a barrier so that the resin doesn't go further past this point. Now she's going to be mixing in her pigments and she's starting off with Peacock Green by Just Resin. Her next pigment is Blue Diamond, also by Just Resin. I'll have affiliate links in my description where you can purchase similar products, so make sure to check that out. And she leaves a third small cup with clear resin. She starts off by pouring her darkest shade of pigmented resin, which is Blue Diamond, and pours it on the very top of the board. And right below that, she's pouring her Peacock Green Pigmented Resin. And she's using a makeup brush to spread and blend the pigmented resin together. And she's also making sure to get the resin on the side of the board. Now she's going to be adding a white shade of makeup powder into her previously mixed peacock green pigmented resin to lighten it up a bit. She mixes it together and then pours it onto the board below the peacock green resin. Then she uses her makeup brush again to blend everything together. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and when using a torch gun you need to be careful that you're moving it in a very quick manner so that you don't burn your resin. Now she's prepping the small knives and she's making sure that they're all covered in tape except for that small area where she wants to add resin. She added some excess tape onto the bottom of the knives to be able to tape them onto a large mixing stick to keep them sturdy while she applies the resin. She starts off with the blue diamond pigmented resin and she uses a small wooden stick to carefully apply it. Then she takes the lightened shade of Peacock Green Pigmented Resin and applies it with the wooden stick as well. And she carefully blends them together. She uses the torch gun once more to get rid of any air bubbles. Now she's using the excess resin that has dripped off over the board and with her finger she's using it to blend it onto the side of the board. She comes back after 24 hours to add a second layer. After mixing her Part A and Part B resin again, she adds Depon's Transparent Alcohol Ink in the shade Intense Teal and she pours her clear resin where she wants her wave to start. And she pours the intense teal pigmented resin in the area above. She adds a few more drops of Depon's intense teal alcohol ink to make it more intense. And she pours that onto the very top of the board. She adds a little bit of Just Resin's Dark Turquoise to deepen the color and pours that at the top of the board as well. And she carefully pours some onto the knives. Followed with a little bit of Clear Resin. And she uses the makeup brush to blend everything together nicely. 
Now she's going to be mixing in her gold pigment for the waves and she's using Just Resin's Bright Gold. She makes sure to mix it well in the container before adding a small amount onto her wooden stick to mix into the resin. And she carefully applies her gold pigmented resin alongside where she previously poured a line of the clear resin. She gently squeezes the top of the cup while she's pouring to allow less resin to flow out. And she also pours a little bit near the top of the board. And she uses a heat gun to blow out the waves. And she does the same with the small knife pieces. Then she goes back with the gold pigmented resin to touch up the shoreline. After 24 hours has gone by, she's adding a layer of food safe resin and she's using Epoxy Food by Resin Pro. She goes over the areas where she'll be applying the food safe resin with a heat gun and this is to get rid of any surface moisture. Excess moisture on the surface can cause a film in your resin so it's always a good idea to go over your surface with a heat gun or a torch gun before you top coat. Now she's ready to start pouring her food safe resin. She quickly goes over the area with the torch gun and uses the makeup brush to spread the resin and make sure that the whole area is covered. After a day has gone by, the tape is ready to be removed and first, she's going over the tape with the heat gun, which allows it to come off very easily. As you can see, there were a few leaks through the tape, so she's using an X-Acto knife to peel it off. A quick tip, which we'll be using next time, is that after applying the tape, Go over it with the heat gun before you start pouring your resin and this will make it sealed better. She uses the same technique to remove the tape on the board, first by going over it with the heat gun and then just easily peeling it off. She's careful not to lean the top of the board with the resin on it into anything while she's removing the tape. To better touch up the leaked resin, she sands down the knife pieces. And for the final touch, she's applying oil onto the wood. And here's the final product.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.